In this screen, you can add a booklet to your game, or you can edit existing booklets that you've created in the past. Due to the nature of saddle stitching and the way our process works, you must design your booklet in sets of four pages. So to start, we're going to go ahead and create a new page, and we'll call it page one, and we'll click the green add button. Here's the new page we just created. There's a name field, and you can update this at any time. There's also a page number field, and this specifies the order of the pages that, that are going to be in the booklet. So page one is obviously going to be the front page. We have to upload an image for this page, so we'll click on the paperclip icon. This will load the file system, and we'll go ahead and select the image uh, right here, the jumbo booklet image. This is just the basic template file. But if we hadn't already uploaded this image into the file system, we could use the bulk upload files section or the upload a file feature to upload our particular page image and uh, so that it would be in the file system. So I'm going to click jumbo booklet and then I'm going to click on the green choose this file button. Now you can see the image has been uploaded and selected and we just need to proof that image to make sure everything looks good. In the proofing screen you'll see a green approve button. You'll see a, a orange yellowish deny button and this is used if you're not happy with the image. There's also the ability to uh, toggle the cut lines as well as the print color filter. We recommend that you leave the print color filter on so that you see the best representation of, the, of what the colors will look like. Click on the green approve button. And now the proof button has turned blue, indicating that this document has been proofed. Now because saddle stitching requires four pages uh, in order to create a booklet, we have to add three more pages. So I'll move over to the right change this to page 2 and click the green add button. Now we have the next page that's been set up. Here's the page name, the page number, and then we'll repeat this process uh, three more times uh, to uh, complete the booklet. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've uploaded the other pages and I now have four of them and so we could create this booklet now. All of these images have been proofed as well, so this booklet would be ready to go. Just remember that you can create larger booklets if you want, but you need to make sure that you create them in sets of four pages. So you could have an eight page, a 12 page, 16 page, or a 20 page, or as many pages as your particular booklet allows. And you'll have to read up uh, in the more information section uh, to find out what those maximums are.